I'm taking Jalen Hurts over Carson Wentz. I know yeah, Carson I'm... Wentz had a couple of statistical categories, which looked okay last year. He appled up at the end of the season. I'm sorry. Right now, I got a choice between those two guys. I'm taking Jalen Hurts tw- uh, every day of the week and twice on Sundays. It is a truth-telling Tuesday here on Birds 365. You're Mac and Mac guys, John McMullen and Jody McDonald. Uh, Johnny Mac, I got excited Yes, I think I saw it on a tweet, and it said, Eagle sign. And I was thinking it was going to be James Bradbury. And I was, all mm-hmm. right, and we'll be talking about on Birds 365 tomorrow. No, they signed one of their practice squad guys from uh, – that they brought in. Uh, hopefully, he's a practice squad guy. Tryout camp guys that they had in last week as a rookie as uh, rookies. Uh, good for Carrick uh, Wheatball. Wheatball. Yeah, I like the name Carrick Wheatball. I said that uh, it's one of the things I tweeted during rookie mini camp. So I don't know if he can play, <laughs> but I enjoy the name Carrick Wheatball. So. Yeah, I mean, this is what happens. A uh, bunch of uh, tryout players signed around the NFL. You know, I joke, I don't know how you judge these guys anymore because right. you do so so little uh, in these camps. But, you know, probably showed off a little athleticism um, and he's got some size, six foot two. You know, it's always a good sort of carrot to dangle. Uh, for tryout players that say, you know, if you do things the right way, we'll give you an opportunity, things like that. But I wouldn't expect Kurt Wheatball to be a a, a meaningful contributor uh, this fall. <laughs> two, two, two things on Carrick. I can actually speak to him a little bit because, you know, yours truly works uh, Saturday nights. On hey, CBS you're president of State Beat guy, huh? Oh, yeah, because uh, I think I've mentioned this here on Birds 365 before. I like their quarterback, uh, Fresno State's quarterback, kid by the name of Jake Hayner, who started in Washington, transferred to Fresno State, had good seasons with Fresno State. The coach of Fresno State actually got hired to be the Washington coach this offseason. He was going to transfer to Washington to stick with his coach and go back where he actually started his college career. And then said, no, you know what, I'll just stay at Fresno State. He decided to back out of the transfer portal. Um, But I really like the kid. I had him on a couple of times watching late night games while I'm on the air till 2 a.m. I think he's got nerve. I think he's got moxie. He's got a kind of a funky delivery, but gets the ball out in a hurry. Uh, So I watch a bunch of Fresno State games this year. So I can actually speak to Carrick. He's, He's got size and he's got the ability to get behind defenders. He's got some speed. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, I'm a baseball guy. Uh, spring training every year, they start with extra pitchers and catchers. Yeah. It's kind of like that with football. You want the quarterbacks to get in as many throws as they can, so you need a couple extra wide receivers. I uh, don't know if he's going to make even the practice squad with this team, but if he comes in and just wows them, your point about how much of an opportunity do they really get a chance to showcase themselves is unfortunately on point. But you never know. Good for the kid. I, uh, I'll i be rooting for him. I think I'm kind of rooting upstream, but that's okay. Give the kid a chance. Let him come into camp and show. Uh, you know, I kind of poke fun at Zach Pascal because he's the teacher's pet. Um, and mm-hmm. he'll be here. He's not going anywhere. He's going to <laughs> he's gonna get a roster spot over Carrick. But uh, I'll, there's a guy I can root for to make the practice squad. Now, you're right, by the way, in, you know, when you talk about uh, bodies in training camp even more so than OTAs, obviously, because you're not doing a ton of stuff. You, the most bodies you always bring in are defensive backs and receivers because those are the guys that, you know, Doug Peterson used to call them thoroughbreds. Those are the guys that they got to be right to be playing at an optimal level. So, you know, a lot of soft tissue injuries, the last thing you want, is somebody tweaking a hamstring, then going out there trying to play through it, and then a, you know, a, a week ten day injury turns into a two month injury. So, um, anytime 
there's anything wrong with those guys in training camp. They just shut them down. And to do that, you need bodies. Yep. Um, and the Eagles have a lot of bodies at wide receiver, a lot of bodies at defensive back. And that's by design. You need them. Uh, you need them at those particular positions to get through practice. And we are still weeks away from the opening of uh, training camp. Um, and the quarterbacks just need to get their work. And that's why the wide receivers are there. I want to touch on the quarterback here in town. And of course that's Jalen hurts. Uh, our buddy, Joe Santa Liquido who was on with us last week, right? Didn't we have Joe on last yeah. week? I didn't uh, think it was too we've had audio Joe cause he couldn't. Uh... Oh, that's right. He had the uh, computer problems. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Joe was on with us last week. Uh, he did a hit for uh, Bleeding Green Nation, our buddy Brandley Gouton site, uh, this past week. And uh, he and everybody's looking at the Eagles schedule and in different ways and forms and the like. He went down the compared the two quarterbacks in each game matchup between the Eagles and their uh, opponents upcoming this year. Um, so you've got 17 regular season games three quarterbacks of which you know you're going to face twice, Giants, Commanders, or as Glenn Macknight likes to call them, the Commies, uh, <laughs> and the Dallas Cowboys. How many out of the 17 games, if you did or didn't see this, or if you don't remember, don't have it in front of you right now, Johnny Mac, how many of the 17 games do you think Joe Santa Liquido said the Eagles have the advantage before the ball is ever snapped at the quarterback position coming into that game? Well, I, I didn't see Joe's piece, so I'm just looking at the schedule here. So I'll do it real quick. Uh, Detroit, I would say, yes, they have the advantage. Uh, Minnesota, no. Washington, we know it's Joe, so he's going yes there. Jacksonville, I would say not long term, but right now, yes. Arizona, no. Dallas, no. Uh, Pittsburgh, yes. Houston, yes. And by yes, I mean have the better option Washington yes Indianapolis no Green Bay no Tennessee I'm going to say he gave it a yes even though you could argue that and I would argue it uh, Giants uh, he would give a yes Bears a yes Cowboys again no Saints I'm going to say he would say the Eagles are better I would I wouldn't be so sure and then the Giants would be a yes that would be my guesses. No, you quick. did a good job. I hope you were adding up. Did you do the little? Uh, I did not. I did not add. Uh, so I'll do it real quick. Real quick. So, do it for me. Yeah. Minnesota would be better. So I'll do the ones that would be better. Uh, Minnesota, Arizona, Dallas, um, Indianapolis, Green Bay, Dallas. So that would be six, right? Yeah. But, I mean, I would argue more. I would argue Tennessee. Right. Saints six, might have a better. Right. Six out of 17 would uh, be the way that you thought that Joe was going to. Yeah. Um, so that means 11 of the 17, he would give the Eagles an advantage at the quarterback position, if my math is correct. Correct. And Joe we got to be careful with 17, 18. Five. 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 That's five it. That Five that the Eagles are better in coming into the game. Wow. Yeah, he was hard. I thought he was going to be too easy. No, he was hard. Two of two of the five is one quarterback, and that would be Daniel Jones of the Giants. Uh, is the only yeah, in-division quarterback that he that. Now, I agree with him. You know, I, I assume he went with Jacksonville because of Trevor Lawrence. That That is one of his five as well. Correct. Uh, I assume he went with Tennessee. Nope. Uh, no, nope. He's, wow. He gives he gives Brian Tannehill the nod over Jalen Hurts. Wow. Now that's that stuns me. I assume he want New Orleans. Uh, nope. Wow. All right. You got to give me this, Jody. His, I'm interested. His five were Daniel Jones twice. The two second year quarterbacks, only because they played like rookies last year, Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields, and the actual rookie quarterback Kenny Pickett. Those are the only five games that Joe said the Eagles come into the game. He with said an advantage Davis Mills an advantage. He no. gave Davis Mills the nod over Jalen Hurts this yeah, upcoming year. That's harsh. Well, you know, hey, he's a harsh grader. Yeah. Now, I was going back. I, I agree with Tennessee. Like, I think Ryan Tannehill's better right now. 
uh, than Jalen Hurts. I think you can make a strong argument that New Orleans is better right now if Jameis Winston is healthy. And there's a bunch of caveats. Not massively better, but I don't have a problem with those. Yeah, I mean Davis Mills. Come on, and I, I'm higher on Davis Mills. You're the harsh one. I'm yeah, I'm higher on I, Davis, I think Mills, Davis than, Mills than is you. Woefully, woefully overrated by the people down there in Houston. I I think he's got a better chance than you. But that that's that's you know he's done nothing to the point to prove that he's better than Jalen Hurts, uh, even pedigree wise. I mean, J- if Jalen was a second round pick, Davis was a third, I think. Right. I yep. have to double check. Um. Yeah, I don't get that one. That's the one that specifically would jump out at me and say, um, "Come on, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Joe a come on with Davis Mills." Come, come on, um, here's my take, just for for what it's worth. And you, when you went through them, you were projecting what you thought Joe did, not what you would do. You said a couple times. I might argue that, but um, I'll ask you to follow me and and give me your list. Better quarterback, and that's what they've accomplished and projecting what they're going to be this year. For me, I would rank uh, Jalen Hurts ahead of Jared Goff. I know Jared Goff went to a Super Bowl. Jared Goff was terrible last year, terrible. And I don't know why I should expect him to be better this year. So that's one I disagree on. Although I'm not the biggest Kurt Cousin fan, you have to give Cousins his props. He's got yeah, better receivers. Yeah, you just—I'm uh, not a huge fan of Cousins, but he's better than Hurts. Nobody at is, this but time. he's better. I always my—you know my definition of Kurt Cousins. He's probably better than your quarterback. <laughs> that's that's I, the case here, and I think that's the case. I'm taking Jalen Hurts over Carson Wentz. I know yeah, Carson I'm, Wentz had a couple of statistical categories which looked okay last year. He appled up at the end of the season. I'm sorry. Right now, I got a choice between those two guys. I'm taking Jalen Hurts tw- uh, every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Well, that and that's because it was Joe. I assumed he would go Jalen Hurts there, but no, uh, he went wins. Yeah, I'm. So, hey, man, uh, objectivity. Um, yeah, I'm with you. Look, if Carson Wentz can play well for short periods, uh, can look better for a short stint uh that wouldn't surprise me but yeah i mean if you ask me who's the better quarterback right now i would say it's it's jalen hurts over that, carson wentz that one surprised me we agree on mm-hmm. lawrence uh kyler murray gets the nod Dak both times we agreed on kenny pickett you got to give the nod to the third year quarterback rather than the first davis mills we discussed i'm taking jalen it's not even a debate Ryan, you got to go. Rogers, you got to go. Yeah, I'm taking him over Tannehill. Tannehill started to show remnants of Miami again last year. And who's got – this was real simple for me. Who get, who's got A.J. Brown? Tannehill had him last year. Hurts has him this year. Going into this game, who do I think has an advantage of quarterback? The guy who's going to be throwing the ball to A.J. Brown. I take Hurts. He took Tannehill. Um, you got uh, Jones twice, Fields. And uh, Jameis, uh, you're right. And that's a late in the season game. If Jameis is still standing, I'll give him the nod. But if I had to bet my own money right now, will Jameis still be playing by that week in the season? The answer is no. So it may end up being uh, Andy Dalton, the red rifle, versus uh, Jalen Hurts at that yeah, time. Joe, but- Joe was harsh. I'm surprised how harsh. I, You know, here's the issue with me, Jody. I start looking at because I think it's more important the projection than anything else. You know, some of these other teams, you know, long-term, is he better than Trevor Lawrence? Would I rather have him? No. No. Uh, Long-term, Kenny Pickett? I don't know. You have to argue that. That's a legitimate argument. Davis Mills, I would argue I'd still go Jalen Hurts, even though I'll give him a little bit more oomph than you. Uh, Justin Fields, Hey, I've said it from last year. They better hope Justin Fields doesn't turn anything into anything. And by the way, the Bears are helping them in that estimation because they don't seem to be doing a damn thing to help Justin Fields. But they better hope he's got a bigger long-term upside because if that guy turns into a star, that's going to be a story two years down the road. Um, Talent-wise, I got to go Justin Fields. I mean – Gotta be and honest. You know, you know how big a Justin Fields fan I am. Um, 
Uh, I really like the kid and think he's got a chance to be a star. If they give, ever give him any weapons, not improved weapons, any at all, because right now the Bears have none, zero. Yeah, Jalen Hurts has so much more at his disposal than Jalen than uh, uh, Fields does. It's not even worth commenting on. Uh, so that is one of the reasons why I would give Jalen the uh, nod there. But I like you think that uh, you got to give uh, props to. Uh, what they're going to be able to do this year. And I don't think Jalen, uh, Justin Fields is going to be able to do much of anything because I don't like the Bears team at all. Well, I'm surprised. I'm still surprised Joe went Carson Wentz twice over Jalen Hurts. I'm surprised. People yeah, surprise he did. you. People surprise you, Jody. Every once in a while. We'll find out if our first guest surprises us. Um, a guy who I knew at WIP worked uh, before him, after him uh, for years. Uh, he's still in the broadcast business doing a eagles podcast these days john barchard is gonna hop aboard with us uh don't see him in the green room yet but he's scheduled to hop aboard here hopefully he is able to do just that uh we're gonna get john barchard up in hour number one and les bowen up in hour number two i uh, got plenty to kick around over the next hour and change we appreciate you streaming in right here on the jacob media youtube channel to birds 365 